terrorism and about accidents that happen in, in countries thousands of miles away and about economic collapse and all the ways that we're bombarded with negative crapola through news and through the radio and through talk shows. All of these bombard the body over and over again. The body never has a chance to recover. It never has a chance to heal. It never has a chance to regenerate. It never has a chance to clear out these stress hormones that shut down the healing response. So as the stress response progresses, as stress hormones rise, including aldosterone, so does the concentration of salt in the blood. This is where hypertension comes from. As aldosterone, stress hormone levels rise, the concentration of salt in the blood rises. And of course, that means less salt in the cells. The salt is coming out of the cells, going into the blood, raising the blood pressure. So you got two things going on now. You got high blood pressure, long term, and you got six cells, long term. And even worse, ultimately, as the salt goes into the blood from the cells, you end up losing it in your urine. Salt comes through, goes out through the kidneys. It's pulled out in the urine with water. So now you've got hypertension, you've got six cells, and you've got a deficiency in salt, and you've got dehydration because as the salt is coming out, it's, pouring, it's pulling out water. All of this is following stress. All of this is following emotional, mental, psychological stress, digestive stress, respiratory stress, sugar stress. Can you see how fundamentally important it is to learn to relax the body? to learn to activate the relaxation nervous system, to correct digestive issues, to stabilize the blood sugar, and to make sure you're practicing your deep breathing techniques. Because salt is so important for healthy functioning, when we have this long-term stress and we're losing salt, we're gonna crave salt. This is one of the main reasons, maybe the main reason why we're addicted to salty foods. And you bet your bottom dollar food processors understand this and they'll pour salt in their foods. Fast foods are always filled with salt. If you don't want to be addicted to salty foods, eat salt, straight salt, Celtic salt, Celtic sea salt, Himalayan salt, get your minerals, use your, body, your uh, Mighty 90 essential nutrients in your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Addiction to salt is the body's way of making sure we replace the super vital substance. The last thing you want to do is be on a low salt diet. That is stupidity. Now you made matters even worse, not that you could even do it because the addiction and the cravings to salt are too hard or too intense for us to go on a low, low salt diet. So how do you make sure that your aldosterone and your adrenal glands are operating correctly? How do you make sure that aldosterone is doing its business correctly and your adrenal glands are operating correctly? Well, for one thing, get some sun. There's a very important relationship between vitamin D and aldosterone. Vitamin D from the sun lowers aldosterone levels. Aldosterone is a stress hormone. That means vitamin D is anti-stress. That means the sun is anti-stress. Oh, add that list to the list of stupid things we hear from the medical model. Stay out of the sun. The sun is one of the best anti-sunshine and laying out in the sun is one of the best anti-stress aldosterone levels, vitamin D improving, health inducing strategies you could ever employ in your life. And anybody who tells you to avoid the sun is an ignoramus. Quote me. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're coming back with your phone calls right after this on the bright side. Don't go away. Right side, I'm pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also purchase products off brightsideben.com. And if you want to purchase any of our truth treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com. Okay, time to hit the phones. 844-236-6010, Marlene in Minnesota. What's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning. Uh, yes, thank you for taking my call. Sure. Uh, my What's daughter up? has had colitis for many years. Okay. She, she's 52. Okay. <clears throat> and she wanted to, a year ago, she decided she wanted to get off the acicle. So she, she went off it in, in May. But last May, she started having uh, uh, problems again with it. And okay. she's just gotten, 
she's just continued to get weaker and, and weaker. Um, I ordered uh, BTT for her okay. Okay. and, um, well, the healthy body pack, except we had to switch the uh, EFAs to have the ones with primrose. She, she okay. had taken uh, some tests to show what food she was sensitive to. Okay. And, um, and it's showing that she should not have eggs. The, okay. the, the white of eggs she was highly sensitive to, and the yolks medium. Okay. Uh, she also has a candida situation. Okay, she's got a lot of stuff. She does much she's more than candida. A lot, and a she's lot of stuff. But here's the deal. Here's the deal, Marlene. This is this is so tragic and good news too. It's a combination of being horribly tragic and extremely exciting, if you can imagine. The tragedy of it all is colitis is so miserable, and I don't need to tell you this, and I don't need to tell your daughter this. It is one of the most miserable things that can happen to a human being. And there's a lot of miserable things that can happen to a human being, and colitis is near the top of the list. All right? That's the tragedy of it. Mm -hmm. The good news is it's avoidable. It's an eating issue. The colon only interacts with food. This is what the colon does, is it processes food. As soon as you stop eating, your colitis goes away. Now here's the thing, you can't stop eating forever, right? Obviously, but the point is it's a food condition. And any medical professional who takes money for doing a test should be ashamed of themselves. Marlene, does your daughter really need somebody to tell her that she has a problem with a food? You eat the food and you see how you feel. And I'm not beating you up on this, Marlene. I'm trying to encourage you and empower you here. And it just ticks me off that people take money for testing. Well, this, uh, the, the frustrating part is the chiropractor that ordered these tests uh, told her that it, she was probably not. I ordered BioLumen for yeah. her yeah. for enzymes and probiotics, and, yeah. and she told her that she, they probably weren't doing any good. There was no sense taking them. She well, why don't you get your order. chiropractor, get on the phone with me, and we'll have a conversation on the air with her. If she's got, if she has any integrity, tell her to come on the air, and I'll make time for her, and we'll have a conversation with her. All right? Tell her pharmacist Ben wants to talk to her on the air. Well, okay? I, I don't think my daughter. I know, probably not, but, no. you know, and so I'm stuck talking behind people's back, which I hate doing. So let's, let's just get to the good news here, all right? Sure. All right. What you want to do is you want her to be the laboratory test. She's going to be her own test. Her body's going to be her own test. So the first thing you always need when you have this is for everybody listening, and there's a lot of people who have digestive issues. It's a, probably the number one health challenge that we have on a chronic basis involves the, they involve, uh, involve the digestive tract. So what you want to do is you want to stop eating for one or two days or even three. If you have a problem doing that, get on the swear of V. And get that off my website, brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. It's called Swear V. It's made by Jordan Rubin, who, by the way, cured himself of colitis or Crohn's disease using all the strategies I'm telling you here. He started a company that was dedicated to helping people, you know, uh, helping people with digestive issues, and Longevity bought his company. And he has a product called the Swear V. And if you can't, ideally, if you just want to stop eating for two or three days, but you can't do it, Get her, uh, have her buy t a dozen Swear V bottles. They're cheap. They're like five bucks each or something. Do half a bottle every hour for three days. Every hour that she's awake for three days. All right, and that'll clear out her system. If she doesn't have, if she can get away without the Swear V, that's even better. But if she needs something, the Swear V will give her uh, some energy. Wonderful product, even if you're not fasting, but especially if you're fasting. That's called hitting the reset button, clearing the decks. Then she wants to start introducing foods back into her digestive system. She wants to start eating foods, starting with her favorite foods. Okay? You follow me, ma'am? Is it making uh -huh. sense, Marley? Okay. Starting with her favorite food, spend all day eating eggs, spend all day eating bread, spend all day eating potatoes or pasta or whatever her favorite foods are. It's probably something like that because most of us crave starches and sugars. And those are big problems for the colon. And watch what happens, and I guarantee you she's going to notice flare-ups. Then you eliminate those foods, and then you do it again. You go to the next favorite food and eat that all day. Is this making sense? This is super important because this is how you get information. This is how you stay out of the doctor's office and you stay out of Quest Diagnostics office or any other testing company's office. You're doing your own testing here. You're gathering your own data here. You're accumulating your own information here without any chiropractors or doctors. So you sit from the comfort of your own living room. You spend all day eating your favorite foods. When you notice a food causes an inflammation or, or pain or some kind of digestive distress, that's a food that's a problem, and you eliminate it. And you keep going until you eliminate all the foods that are problems. It may take you a couple weeks to do. It may take you a month to do. It's well worth it. That's called the elimination diet, and that's step number one. 
food diary or fasting, food diary, and eliminating foods. That's the elimination diet, first thing to do when you have colitis. The second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you're getting all the nutrients that support digestive health, and the nightly essence is topped on the top of the list. And not only do you want to ignore that stupid advice not to take the nightly essence, but you want to take a lot of it. Three a day, or three in the, uh, nine a day, three, three, three times a day. Three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night. In addition to that, she wants to be doing fermented food. That means sauerkraut, tempeh, miso, fermented beets. If she's really serious about, about fixing herself, or if you're really serious about helping your daughter, get a book called The Art of Fermentation. Everybody listening, The Art of Fermentation. It's easy to read. It's got great recipes. It tells you about the history of fermentation. And it, uh, it will allow you to use, to, to broaden your menu, if you will, of fermented foods. I use the fermented beet recipe. It's delicious. All right? And also apple cider vinegar along the same lines as fermented foods that can support gut health. So now you've got food diary, elimination diet, um, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, and fermented foods and apple cider vinegar. Make sure she, this, this poor girl is going to be malnourished. She's essentially starving to death because she's not she absorbing is. nutrients. I know she is. This poor girl is not getting her nutrients. And then you get into this vicious spiral where it just keeps getting worse. So immediately, and by immediately, I mean today, get her on liquid nutrition. Okay? And this is going to be before her fast, or if she wants to fast today, after her fast. Liquid nutrition, meaning chicken soup with the cartilage, and that means the bones, not, not Campbell's chicken soup, but no, homemade chicken. bone broth. Okay, bone broth, exactly. Homemade bone broth? Uh, it wasn't homemade. She homemade. Homemade okay. bone broth. You want to know what's in there. We take it, and it's very easy to do. You take a chicken, drop it in a pot of boiling water, let it simmer for 12 or 14 or 16 hours till the meat comes off the bones. Put a little apple cider vinegar in there, throw some vegetables at the end and your favorite spices, and you keep doing it. You, you, you bring the, the, do a reduction where you uh, di, uh, bring the water down so it's concentrated, add more water, bring it down so it's concentrated, add more water. Eventually, all that yummy cartilage stuff is going to come out in the water, and that stuff is incredibly soothing and healing for the digestive tract. Did uh, Dr. Chiropractor Genius tell you about bone soup and cartilage instead of having her test for egg yolks? Anyway, hang tight because there's a couple more things I want to tell you. Okay, Marlene? Don't go away. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis. We use mobile devices right against... Okay, we're back on The Bright Side talking to Marlene in Minnesota. Marlene, you there? Yes, I am. Okay, you got your food diary. You got your elimination diet. If you can't do the fasting, then you want to uh, add the Swero V. One bottle every... Uh, uh, one bottle uh, every hour, or I'm sorry, half a bottle every hour. So you got six bottles in a 12-hour day. And then you want to uh, make sure you're using your Biolumin Nightly Essence and fermented foods. All right? So far, so good? But not, not the BTT or the... Uh, hang on, hang on. I'm not done yet, ma'am. I'm just going to go a little bit fast because I've got a bunch of calls I want to get to. Okay, when she gets on her BTT, she wants to sip on it slowly. If she does too much, it's going to go right through her. She's going to end up with diarrhea and cramping and bloating, and she's going to hate it. So whenever you have a problem with the BTT, everybody out there, if you're drinking your BTT too fast, you're going to get bloated and, and uncomfortable. Uh, so sip on the BTT slowly. Make sure she's doing her ultimate EFAs, 3 in the morning, 3 in the afternoon, 3 at night. Zinc picolinate is super helpful for the digestive tract. So is something called zinc carnosine, spelled C-A-R-N-O-S-I-N-E. Both are available in a health food store. Make sure, she, make sure she's using her ultimate enzymes after all her meals. And if I were her, I would be getting some bile salts as well extra bile salts. There's some in the, in the Ultimate Enzymes, but I would be getting some extra to take with her meals as well. If she wants to throw in a couple other things, get her, uh, have her use uh, HCL, which stands for hydrochloric acid. HCL drops after her meals. All right, so far so good. A couple more things I'm going to tell you here. I just want to make sure you understand this, all right? Liquid nutrition is extremely important for her. Get a Vitamix, make veggie juices, because in addition to uh, the vegetables and the liquid, she needs fiber. One of the problems with having a liquid diet is you don't get enough fiber. So by using a Vitamix and throwing in celery, spinach, green leafies are especially important because they provide nitrogen, which is really important for the digestive tract. So green leafy vegetable juices, and, and also celery juice, beet juice, any kind of vegetable juices. Liquid soups, 
liquid vegetable juices, 